tonight shifting focus in the run-up to the Karnataka polls. The political temperature has been boiling in the state with the BJP and the Congress coming at blows far too often. But for a change, a politician has kept the political rivalry aside to praise a leader from the opposite party. Something which has raised eyebrows, uh, Karnataka Minister Narayana Gowda has uh, heaped praises on senior Congress leader and MLA Sidramaya, saying he has immense respect for the former Karnataka Chief Minister. Now, during an event, the BJP leader lauded Sidramaya for his work. <laughs> See, when I was the chief minister, I did a lot to carpet a constituency. He was MLA at that time from JDS. That is why he has respect for me. The state is going to witness an election. Uh, so is there any hint praising him to you? Pardon? The state is going to witness the election in Karnataka. Is there any hint because BJP minister is, uh, uh, you know, coming openly and praising you? Openly? Yeah. BJP people, they have no hopes this time. Huh. Simply, they are making a statement that they will come to power. But the ground reality is the BJP will not come to power. Congress, per Congress party, 100%, it will come to power this time. That is the reality. That is the situation in Karnataka. All right, uh, going straight across to my colleague Deepak, who is joining us on the broadcast for more on this. Uh, Deepak, uh, this is uh, quite unusual, uh, so to say. If you could, uh, you know, walk us through what the BJP minister really said in praise of the Congress leader. Well, uh, now, Narayan Gowda, of course, is the sole BJP MLA from the old Mysore region, which is considered as a bastion of the JDS and the Congress combined. Uh, BJP, of course, has struggled to really, uh, you know, make uh, any sort of headway here. It was Narayan Gowda who was formerly with the JDS. You know, he was one of those rebel MLAs who, uh, you know, eventually uh, was one of the reasons why, uh, you know, the coalition collapsed. And then he joined the BJP after which he, of course, won uh, from, uh, you know, the KR Peter constituency. He was addressing uh, the people there and the workers there. That's when he made this particular statement that he has immense respect for Sidramaya, the work that he's done. He's, uh, you know, given a lot of schools uh, in his constituency. Uh, Moraji Desai schools he talks about. He talks about the Kittu Rani Chanama schools as well. And he says that, you know, politics is one side. And he's, of course, going to ask the uh, people for votes uh, at the, for, uh, on behalf of the BJP, but as far as respect is concerned, he's always going to have respect for Sidrama as a statement that he's made. It's an interesting statement nonetheless, considering the fact that elections are just around the corner and, you know, a statement like this, of course, could mean a lot of things. But as of now, Mr. Narayan Gowda hasn't really given a hint of him being uh, disgruntled with the BJP. He's been, of course, given a ministry there. He's enjoying, uh, you know, qu quite a lot of perks uh, after joining, uh, you know, uh, the, the Bharti Janta Party. Whether this was just a, a statement to uh, ensure that he does not really, uh, you know, rub in the wrong shoulders of Mr. Sidramaya uh, uh, in a, a constituency, which of course uh, has quite a large, you know, Congress vote base. Uh, this could be it. But of course, like I mentioned, ahead of the elections, uh, you know, these sort of statements cannot uh, be taken very lightly. Right, uh, Deepak, many thanks for joining us uh, with all those details.